my friend recently said to me, Anna, stop seeing the good in people. And I really wanted to respond, do you know what it costs you to not do that? So my son recently had a bullying experience and I was talking to another parent about it and he's a boxer and he's, you know, a fighter and that's his go-to. And we were talking about the incident and I was saying, well, you know, I'm sure the other kid also has his side of the story and hurt people hurt people. So there is more to that and I want to understand the clear picture. And my friend tells me, stop looking for the good in people. Stop seeing the good in people. Gosh, this is what I want to address. Do you understand what it's costing you to not do that? Do you understand what it's costing you to see the bad in people? Because it's not just, you know, the distrust of life and right, like everybody's out to get me and I'm not safe. What it does to your energetic, physical, emotional, mental bodies. It's not just about the outside. Whatever you're putting out comes back to you. Whatever you say about other people, think about other people. That is what your inner critic translates, recycles, throws back at you. And it's scary in here. You can get away from other people. But you can't get away from your own mind. You cannot get away from yourself. And to some people, that's terrifying because, again, it's scary up here for some people. And this starts when we antagonize other people, when we look for things, ways in which they can hurt us, in which we're not safe, in which, oh, well, he did this on purpose, or she said that because that was her intention. Giving the benefit of the doubt, understanding that hurt people hurt people, understanding that you are in control of your reality and other people can't affect it. And again, tell me, yeah, you, yes, they can, absolutely. No, they can't when you stand in your power. No, you can't when you are in alignment with your own inner knowing intuition and you know what to do and you know what to say. And I know this can be hard to believe, especially when you've never experienced this. I had a really conflicting uh, dynamic with one of my parents. And it was someone who was very volatile, very emotionally unstable, physically unstable as well. And I was struggling with this person my whole life. And after the spiritual shift, I remember having this conversation with them on the phone. And being taken away by how I just knew what to say because I was so aligned and so centered and creating those boundaries and I'm like oh my god how am I saying this like how and I felt so at peace it wasn't like a fight it wasn't like I have to prove it's like I'm rooted and grounded in who I am I know what I stand for I know what I want the outcome of this conversation to be and there's nothing more to it nothing but certainty clarity alignment no defensiveness no fighting. This is what we can tune into. This is what is available to us every day once we trust life, once we trust ourselves. So the reason I'm sharing this with you is first of all to bring to awareness. Understand what it's costing you to not see the good in all people, situations, circumstances. What it results in for your own well-being and how detrimental this can be. But also remembering that you are in control of your reality, that that centeredness, that alignment, that no matter what happens outside of you, you're good, you're whole, you're complete. There's nothing out there to get. And the crazy thing is that when you're fully in that state, that's when everything comes to you. Because you're in the embodiment of that safety or the embodiment of that abundance. If this is something that you want to go deeper into, check out the link below and we can get on a clarity call if you want one-on-one -on -one support with this. And I thank you for being here. I thank you for coming into wholeness for putting your well-being in alignment first. Because again, it's, it's a cycle, right? It's like if you are not throwing out that poison, if you're not antagonizing others, 
your mind is clear. You're at center. And it is choosing to be committed to that well-being. My peace comes first. And therefore, inevitably, that is what you radiate to all aspects of your life. Many blessings. Thank you.